everyone this is my editing self this is not how I did the video I am in my PJs and I am editing this video and I just realized that I accidentally deleted the intro to this video so of course that has happened to me so um, here's the quick little intro in this video I am going to be giving you guys my Christmas wish list for this year I'll be talking about the things that I really want and things that I think teenagers or girls or guys like me would like um, so I hope you guys enjoy this video sorry for this is how the intro starts but I accidentally deleted the real one and yeah so also vlogmas already started so if you haven't watched my first vlogmas video it will be linked down below and okay let's go back to the real intro. <laughs> Of course, before I start this week's video, I just want to say I'm grateful for anything and everything. So if I don't get a single thing from this list, I don't care. I just love Christmas because I get to spend time with my family and enjoy the love and laughter and joy. And just the joy of opening a present is just honestly amazing, even if it's rolls of toilet paper in it. Before we start, make sure you guys have subscribed and click that bell. That way you're always notified and updated for more videos like this. I'm so excited for more Christmas videos to come. So this is my list for this year. Year. it's nothing like cute and decorative I just did it in like festive colors so obviously green and red I just wrote at the top Victoria's wish list and then I gave a little note that says I appreciate anything these are just some things that I really like and here is the list so the first thing is Ariana Grande merch <laughs> uh, I don't know if you guys know but I am a huge Ariana Grande fan I love each and every song of hers each and every album and positions it's just an amazing, mind-blowing album, and I just love her so much. Ever since I was a little girl, she was my idol, and I just, I love her merch and her hoodies, specifically hoodies and crewnecks. I just love that fashion, so I really want, like, an Ariana Grande hoodie or crewneck from any album or anything. I just, I really want something from hers. So if you're an Ariana Grande fan, definitely ask for that because I really want it. Number two is Grey's Anatomy stuff. I love love Grey's Anatomy and I have watched all 16 seasons of it during the pandemic of March to literally June. During that time span I have finished 16 seasons of episodes that are 40 minutes long each all in that tiny time span. I think I have a problem but I just I love this show so much and anything Grey's Anatomy I even have bookmarks of things from Amazon that I really really want but like a hoodie clothes beanies mugs keychains anything Grey's Anatomy I will accept because I need that <laughs> Okay, so this is probably a thing that not a lot of teenagers like, but for some reason I just have this huge passion in, but anything Titanic. My favorite movie of all time is Titanic and nothing can change my mind. Stuff. And I agree, it's a very bad tragedy, very emotional, but for some reason I have this passion in that story and in that real boat that is in the Atlantic Ocean as I speak. So. I want anything and everything that has to do with Titanic. So I want books. I want the actual a sculpture of a boat. I want the poster with freaking Jack and Rose. I want everything at Titanic. So probably nobody watching this video will jot down that wish list, but it is something that crazy interests me. And last night I was watching a million movies from National Geo Geographic about Titanic, and I think I have a problem. So. <laughs> That's another thing that I really want. Okay, so the next thing is red low top Converse and um, first of all, I love Converse. I love their shoes and I don't honestly have a pair at all. I used to have a pair of these really cute pink Converse, but then they got too small and stuff. But I honestly love those shoes. I just don't really like the high top ones that go like farther up to your ankle. And I just, it's just not my thing. You might like it. It's just not my type of fashion. I like the ones that just go up to your ankle bone. And I just really want for some reason red ones. I don't know why. I think they would look so cute with like denim blue high-waisted jeans and like a really cute shirt like 
I just, I get like these chills when I think of that outfit. Am I weird? Yes, I am. But I just really want red low top Converse and I just, I just think they're so cute. And red specifically, not any other color, just red. <laughs> and my favorite author is Chris Colfer. I love Chris Colfer so much. He is the amazing man that wrote The Land of Stories. If you love that series, you know who I'm talking about. But he just uh, published a new novel called A Tale of Witchcraft and I really want that book so, so much. And it's honestly not that much money. It's like $20 for the hardcover. Like, like yes so I will buy it for myself if nobody buys it but like it would be honestly great if somebody else did so I don't have to waste my own money but I really want that book I think I've mentioned this a lot on my channel but if you still haven't noticed I adore guess Guess is my favorite store. I love it so freaking much. Um, my dad was really obsessed with it. He loved Guess things. And then he started taking me to that store. And for my birthday, he got me a, a bunch of clothing pieces from Guess, um, which I did a video on. And ever since I've been obsessed. So anything Guess, jeans, shoes, purses. Oh, they have such beautiful purses, sweaters, anything. And I just love their logo. Like that freaking triangle just, just attracts my love. So anything Guess, I will literally be so happy. So anything athletic or any type of workout clothes, workout clothes is so expensive. And like, I just, sometimes I'll just go on Lululemon or Fabletics and I'll just be like, what the frick? Like these people are making so much money on one pair of leggings that's like $80. And I am so broke that I don't have that money. So honestly, it'd be nice if somebody got me like some leggings or like a sports bra. Obviously they don't have to be from Lululemon or Fabletics, but I honestly have like maybe one outfit like for workouts and I honestly just don't have any athletic things like I just I really like some athletic clothes this year so that is a good thing to draw down for a teenager as I've mentioned at the beginning of this video I love Ariana Grande I love her like she is my idol and uh, I love her perfume so much I had the sweet like candy the Ari and the limited edition one in sample sizes like the tiny ones that you can fit in your purse um, and I got to use all three of them the sample sizes and my absolute favorite is Ari the Ari by Ariana Grande one I know she has a lot more than those three but for some reason that one is my favorite I just love the scent so much and unfortunately I finished the sample size and I'm like dying to to get another one of those so I actually really want the actual normal size of that only perfume I really want the Ari by Ariana Grande perfume it smells like just lavender and just smells so lovely so if you're an Ariana Grande fan or if you just want a nice perfume I really want that one <laughs> I'm literally like on Pinterest for hours scrolling through these beautiful pictures of these girls wearing these adorable necklaces from like Pandora and stuff and like rings and things and now I'm obsessed and now I really want jewelry. So any type of jewelry, I specifically like gold jewelry better. Another thing is purses. I have a few purses, but they're very tiny and like ones that you can literally fit like money and like your phone and nothing else. So I personally really want like a good normal size, not like a huge one that can fit like your laptop, but like a normal sized purse, maybe like across the body one or something. Like I just want a really cute one, one that can go with like a lot of outfits so I can wear it most of the time. Uh, another thing, obviously nail polish as you can see in literally every single one of my videos I have nail polish and you might notice a lot of the similar colors just because I honestly don't have a lot of nail polish I do but they're all like five years old I am not joking they are five years old so they are all disgusting and smell like a rat so I need new nail polish and I honestly love I'm obsessed with pastel colors right now I really like like whites and light pinks and light blues so if you plan on getting me nail polish those are kind of my jam but I honestly really like the dark reds and things like that but I just need like a new nail polish collection so you know one of those nail polish gift sets that come with like five or something that will do I just really want some new ones because I keep wearing the same colors and I just want to play around with colors. I don't know if you guys know, but I just finished Gossip Girl and I'm having Gossip Girl post depression. And yes, I have checked with other fans that have watched the show and they also verified that they have that. I finished the show and now I have depression. And I don't know what to do with my life because that show literally made my life a lot better. So now that I've finished it, I don't know what to do in my life. So I need help, first of all, but what? 
I've been obsessed with Blair, Blair Waldorf, one of the characters in the show with her fashion. Her fashion is literally my inspiration and one of the things that she's brought my attention to is headbands. Headbands, yeah, you heard me right. She wears these really cute, like thick headbands, and I always hated headbands. But for no reason, I have this weirdly obsession, probably because I'm depressed from like finished watching it, but I really want headbands for Christmas. I don't know why. I honestly don't. This is by far the weirdest thing I've put on my list, and I'm honestly starting to think that I'm the weirdest person on the planet. Explain to me why I put food on my Christmas wish list. Specifically, Lay's salt and vinegar chips. So Lay's will do, Lay's salt and vinegar chips. If you get me ketchup chips, I will be mad at you. Salt and vinegar chips are the best chips in the world to exist. You can't tell me I'm wrong, like you can't. So I want that for Christmas, like the family size, cause I can finish that family size in less than like 10 minutes. So if you've watched my video that I did uh, like a few months ago where I talk about my favorite YouTubers, I mentioned that my favorite YouTuber of all time is Colleen Ballinger. I love her so much and I just, I'm obsessed with her and she just came out with a merch line, like new merch and they're the cutest merch items on the planet and I just need some. Specifically, I really like her California one. Um, it says like Santa Barbara and it's just a really cute, she has one in tie dye and one in just like a plain old. I don't care which one, but I really want that one. Um, and she has a, a lot of other cute pieces. I just really want her merch. I honestly love her merch line, but they are very expensive. So good luck to whoever is planning on getting me that. I've been obsessed with makeup for a long time. And so if you're a teenager watching this and you love makeup, or if you're a family member jotting down some notes, uh, put this down, makeup, definitely. But specifically, I've been really wanting the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette. He has so many palettes, honestly, like that man is so successful and makeup and I love all of his palettes but for some reason I really really like the jawbreaker one it just has the prettiest colors they're all like like candy they remind me of candy because of the name but like they're all like candy colors and I just I really want that palette I really want to play around with those colors so um yeah I definitely really want that palette but any makeup will do I just I've really kept my eye on that one <laughs> Obviously, this is something that I always put on my list and I always get for Christmas, but clothes. I love fashion and I love clothes and I always need more clothes. Who doesn't need more? So definitely some cute clothing pieces. Okay, so this next thing is something that I'm sure that 99.99.99999% of you don't know about. And honestly, this is something I would definitely put on your list. Or if you're a family member, put this on that list that you might get this teenager. But Okay, so there is this company called Bracenet Bracelets, and that's how their company looks like. And what they do is they go into huge bodies of water. They go into oceans, like the Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, the Arctic Ocean, Indian Ocean, all the oceans. They will go to lakes, rivers, all sorts of bodies of water. Like, it's incredible how many places they go. And what they do is they grab and collect all, a lot of the fish nets that are rotting down in the waters that is creating pollution, that is killing our turtles, you know, save the turtles visco remember that uh the fishes like this is what's creating a huge amount of problems in our world and they will grab all those fish nets make them into bracelets and they're not just some gross bracelets like they will clean them they will make them nice and they look so freaking cute and they will sell them to save the environment and to wear a cute bracelet and to show that you have respect for our oceans and i have been wearing this these bracelets for around a year or two now and i am obsessed so i have two right now but i definitely want to create a new collection so I have this one and this one is the one that I got a, like a month ago and I'm obsessed um, it is so cute it is this blue net as you can see it's a really pretty blue and it has this silver um, magnet and it just it's so easy to put on and off and they have in a whole bunch of different sizes and it's a magnet and it's just look how cute that is look how freaking cute it is and guess where this is from you guys guess where this bracelet is from the Arctic Ocean. So don't you think it's crazy that I'm wearing a bracelet, this bracelet, and this came from all the way up here. That's right, up here. This ocean right here. That is where this came from. 
How crazy is that? Just let that sink in, okay? I have another one. This one's the first one that I got last year and it's also very, very cute. It's this really cute green one and it has like this nice pattern. As you can see, it's a thinner net. So it's from a different body of water and it has this black um, magnet. As you can see, there's still the um, logo right there and it's really, really cute. Again, an extra small because I have very skinny arms. And this one is from the Adriatic Sea. So this is from a sea, not an ocean. It's still very, very cool. Cool. It is close to Europe around here that sea is and it's so cool So how crazy it is that this net came from all the way from Europe I am just mind blown by that So if you're looking for a really cool way to save the environment and wear cute bracelets I definitely suggest um, Putting this on your wish list wish list I will leave a link to their website down below because I absolutely love them so much I have two and I really want to grow my collection uh, when I got mine my bracelets they gave us this card with the picture of like them going through it like an animated picture and here it says thank you from the company so I just love this company so much and I think they deserve so much more love so I will leave the link to this website down below just look through some amazing cool bracelets from so many different places and this is definitely something really cool to put on your list and I have mine as well because I want more and the last thing that I put on my list also has something to do with my crazy obsession with Grey's Anatomy but I put a practice suture kit so there's these really cool suture kits that you can go get on Amazon and they look so freaking cool and I don't think they're that expensive, but they're practice suture kits that come with full things and they come with the needles and the scalpels and things and with the uh, pad things and just, I don't know, I don't know what they're called because I'm not a doctor, but I, ever since I've been watching Grey's Anatomy, I have this weird obsession with surgeons and I'm just, I have a whole new respect for them. So for some reason, I want to practice sutures during my Christmas break, so that is something that I really want. So if you're a Grey's Anatomy fan, or if you have an interest in being a doctor or surgeon one day, I suggest this because it's so freaking cool, it's a huge kit and it comes with so many things and you can practice sutures. And that, you guys, is all the stuff that I have on my Christmas wish list for this year. As you can see, it's a long list, and I'll probably add some more things throughout December because I always come with more ideas. But if you like this video and you liked some of the ideas I mentioned, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below what you want for Christmas. I honestly really want to know. I just, I love sharing what things we want. I have obviously sh shared a lot more than you wanted me to, but let me know down below a thing or two or few of things you want for Christmas. I would love to know. And yeah. That is all I have for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next Christmas video and vlogmas. I'm so excited. Love you guys. Bye.